Hi guys, welcome back to my video. I am Becky, I am 23 years old and I am from North Wales, currently studying at Edge Hill University, doing a Masters in Mental Health. So in today's video, as you can probably see in this box here, I'm doing a Beauty Bay haul. Beauty Bay had 70% off. Yes, 70% off. Um, I wouldn't have known for this sale unless if um, somebody in Alex's Patreons didn't say Oh my god, Beauty Bay has 70% off. I think it was Drew. I'm not quite sure um, So I had to pick some bits up, didn't I? Yes, I did. I have no money, but We had money for 70% off um, So how many things did I get? I got quite a bit um one two three four five six seven i got 11 items and i'm not sure how much i spent because they don't put the prices on these anymore um the first thing i got was this makeup case with the lightning bolts on it which is by beauty bay themselves i've seen this loads of times and i think it retails at 10 pound and i've seen it in the sale go down to six and i'm like six pounds not bad but it's not something i need or want um, and I've just reorganised my makeup at uni so my chest of drawers has got it all nice and neatened out but I thought that I could put my everyday makeup in here so when I want to get ready I don't have to keep going to my chest of drawers and getting each little thing off um, and it is very big um, and this was reduced to £3 I think so for £3 yes for £6 questionable for £10 definitely not um so yeah i don't know if they're getting rid of these completely because i'm not sure if they do any other styles um but yeah three pounds then i picked up two brushes from sample beauty um they just look like this i will get them out for you i've never had sample beauty brushes before i've only got a sample beauty eyeshadow palette which is the equalizer too um, I've not even used it yet and I got it for Christmas off one of my friends um, but I've heard they're a really good brand and their brushes were ridiculously cheap I'm pretty sure they were like two or three pounds um, so this is from the pitch artistry brush collection I can't get the brush out <laughs> get the paper out but not the brush it's like not budging there we go um that says on the brush this brush is pa105 and it just looks like this i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but it's a brush i have never ever seen before um well i have seen but i've never used before don't own one um and i just thought cute it's really soft um kind of similar softness to peaches and cream brushes which are my favorite favorite brushes favorite soft brushes um so yeah let me know what i could do with this guys um then we've got another one which actually has a brush cover on so this is a face one this collection is vegan as well um so yeah this one is PA 104 so this was 105 this is 104 so I think this could still be a face brush um but this is kind of like a contour brush in my eyes that's what I'd use for contour maybe liquid contour because it is quite bouncy but not too bouncy where it like blend really nice and yeah I don't think I have any other sample beauty products but now i do so they're the brushes and they were ridiculously cheap like cheap then i got a beauty bay lip liner in the shade pulp um i've not had a beauty bay lip liner before obviously i've had their blushes and their bronzers i've got their blush on right now actually um i don't think i've even tried their lipsticks or anything um but yeah i've obviously tried that eyeshadow palettes and that but i thought i'd get a lip liner this is quite a deep berry toned pink i'd say or purple or whatever you want to call it um that is just a base swatch from when i was doing a different video but yeah 
So look at that. I've never had a lip liner like it. I know I've got lipsticks that this can go with. So yeah, we picked that up. And I think it was about three or four pounds. I'm not sure how much they retail at. Got a liquid eyeshadow. I wanted to try these for ages and they are out of stock for so long. And they had them in trios and everything. And they were out of stock and they kept getting reduced and they would go out of stock dead quickly. But I don't think they were actually out of stock. I think they were um, repackaging them because they used to be like a square diamond sort of shape. But now they're circular. Um, so I got the one that I really wanted in Rutile. Um, I had this on the back of my hand when I swatched it for the first time when I opened it up the other day. And it didn't come off for a very long time. This is just a lovely, lovely bronzy golden shade. Um, definitely my shade. I've never used liquid eyeshadow before. So that's why I only picked up one shade. So hopefully I'll like it. I've seen loads and loads of people buy these and they love them. And if I like it, I'll definitely be getting it, the peach one. They have one that's peach and I'm just like, I need it. Um, I can't remember how much these were, but they do retail at £6, if that's any help. Um, which I think is still affordable for a liquid eyeshadow. Then the next thing I got is a Sugar Pill lip gloss. Never owned anything from Sugar Pill before, um, so I thought why not. They are also vegan and cruelty free. And this is in the shade Flicker. I didn't realise it was going to be glittery, I'm not going to lie. This does remind me of a liquid lipstick that Jeffree Star did and I hated it. And I don't support Jeffree Star anymore either. Um, but it is a lip gloss, so it's just this one here. I think as a topper that would be, that would be cool, like over a shade. I didn't like that smell um but yeah it was also ridiculously cheap then i picked up a beauty blender the beauty blender was literally reduced to a fiver or like four quid i've never owned a beauty blender from the actual oh i've never owned a beauty blender from beauty blender <laughs> If you get what I mean, it is one that says wet me on it. I think it's called a shapeshifter. So we can't can't wait to use an actual one. It's so soft. I see why people get the actual thing now and not actually fake ones. Because um, I'm used to just using a real Techniques one. Um, and it comes in a nice package. So like it's plastic. It's like not going to break sort of plastic. Do you know like the real Technique ones just come in like a packet and then you dispose of it. But this one I can actually like keep and store in here so it doesn't get dirty. So for £5 I think they used to retail at £15 or £18. They've probably gone a lot higher now though. Um, but yeah I can't wait to use that. Then we got two Sample Beauty Pigments. These were like £1.50 each. This one is in M YMC, I think. YMC. These are like proper heavy and big. Comes with a little cap. That is amazing. So basically, I'm a sucker for Peach's pigments and I want to see if other people's are just as good. Wow, wow, I don't have a pigment like this. So it's just obviously that big one there, that is amazing. That would have been perfect for Valentine's Day, wouldn't it? Um, so I'm glad I've got that too for my pigment collection. My pigment drawer is full, so I'm going to have to find somewhere else to store these two. I think I got a blue one. Oh no, I got a red one. I knew it was blue or red. I need something to wipe my finger with. Um, and then I got a red one in Your Stylish Self. £1.50, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not going to say no to £1.50, am I? Oh, this is like the best red ever. Don't do red looks that often. But I am so using this. Let's just... 
swatch. This one's a little bit sheerer from like one swipe. Um, but yeah, it just looks like that. Um, yeah, I knew they had like yellow and blue ones on there as well. Um, I should have picked them up because I don't have any yellow or blue. But that's life. Just um, got some micellar water and popped it on my hands to get rid of the swatches. And the swatch from the liquid lipstick is not going anywhere. It's just smudged. And even the lip liner one's great. So it shows you it's going to last long. Um, but I want to put the liquid eyeshadow back on there just to show you guys that I didn't like it doesn't smudge once it's set unless if you water activate it so I'll just leave it on there for the rest of the video I can't believe this this was seven pound I don't know how much it is supposed to be but it's an Elemis cleanser and I didn't even read the milliliters on it I was like it's probably just going to be a mini or what the box came and it is massive like i'm holding this next to my head now like my face like you can see how big it is and i've got a fat face um so this is the balancing lime blossom cleanser it's a purifying purifier it's a purifying cleansing milk for combination skin it's got lime blossom something called less thin i think that is it's got vitamin e and it claims to purify soothes and balance and it's a 200 milliliter bottle um, and it says defined by nature used by science this balancing and refreshing cleanser milk deeply cleanses skin effective effectively removing the buildup of daily pollutants and makeup unique in texture and specifically designed for combination or congested skin types Active extracts of lime blossom, lecithin and vitamin E help to balance excess surface oils and soothe the skin and reveal a clean radiant complexion and obviously you massage it into dry skin um, in the morning and the evening and then remove with damp cloth and it says for best, revol for best results follow with their toner um, but that wasn't on offer I'm afraid and we know how expensive Elemis is um, so couldn't say no look how big this is <laughs> like it is massive i'm not going to use it yet because i have got other cleansers i need to get through um i don't know what, what cleanser am i on now i'm on an ole hendrickson cleanser at the moment which i'm living um but i've got a few more i want to try i've got an ordinary one that i got for my birthday that i've been wanting for ages but they've never had it in stock i think it's the squalene or the squalene cleanser finally got my hands on it um but yeah i can't wait to give the Miss one a go um because for seven pounds you can't go wrong like that was a bargain can't remember how much this was but this is skinny tan and it is a coconut water serum and i don't do tan that often um, but one of my friends has this and I used it once like way before lockdown um, and it was just literally like water I don't even want to like let me just show you if it can come out on this cotton pad so it's literally just like water, like like water and a gel and you literally lather it into your skin and it's literally it tans you and it's like streak proof and everything and this is a serum that's probably why it's a bit jelly um, but there is a water one as well um, and yeah this is cruelty free and vegan Ooh. this is cruelty free and vegan as well if you wanted to know but I thought I liked it when I tried hers so I'm probably gonna like it if I had my own and I don't tan that often and I feel a little bit more confident with tan if you get what I mean like I think everyone does um but yeah so this is hydrating no transfer clear formula skin kind serum with anti-aging q10 whatever q10 is um develops into lasting medium tan yeah i got it medium um because i don't want to look like an orange but yeah i think you just do the same like you exfoliate before you use it like the same as you would with a normal tan but yeah and that's the last thing i got 
So that is everything I got from the 70% Beauty Bay sale. To be honest, I don't think that they're probably going to have a 70% off sale for a very long time again. But I just couldn't say no. Like, originally I was like, nah, there's going to be nothing good in there. And then all these products started coming out and I was like... The fact they had a beauty blender, Elemis, and a skinny tan won me over anyway. And then I was just like, you know what, like, sample beauty's really good, let's try their brushes. And then I was like, the sugar pill lip gloss was just an extra. I wanted to try the Beauty Bay eyeliners and lipstick anyway. And then when the sample beauty pigments were only £1, £1.50, couldn't say no. So yeah, that is why I got it all. <laughs> and the video I will show you it is still there and we can go over it so many times. I'm rubbing it like it is not coming off this eyeshadow. So I'm going to love that, like love it. Can't wait to use it, like that staying power. For, for six pounds they usually are, so I got it even cheaper. Can't go wrong. So yeah, that's everything I got in my 70% off Beauty Bay haul. If you got anything, what did you get? Um, drop it in the comment section below because I know quite a few people did get it. I'm not sure if it's on anymore. I not, I don't go on Beauty Bay that often to know because I try and stop myself from buying things. But this was a must have. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.